Hey, Soulful Thinking family and friends. Um, I haven't really showed y'all my vehicle and the inside of it when I first started out with it. So just to do a little recap. In the beginning when I first started, I started out on a Lexus. When I started doing like staying in my vehicle and traveling and just trying to get the feel of being out in nature and doing all sorts of things. Um... While I was still in a, a apartment that I was, I know eventually was uh, probably going to be given up soon and to live that whole life. But um, right now, this is my SUV. So I went from a Lexus to an SUV. I needed something just a little more roomier that I'll be able to put some of my things in. And I tried to make it where I'm not traveling with a lot of things so I kind of got rid of some things or probably like put some things in storage and just basically trying to keep exactly what I need so I'm just going to give you a little <laughs> show of my home bedroom kitchen slash everything <laughs> so here we have as you can see back here this is a tub so I pretty much put everything in this tub from car stuff to like big items like an oven, a little rack here, water jug for pouring water in. Sometimes I use this tub to wash up if I can't find a shower. So I take everything out and I pretty much pour water in here and I'll boil the water or I'll get hot water from somewhere if I'm not able to get to uh, someone's house to take a shower and or eventually I will get a Planet Fitness membership somewhere, you know, to uh, take showers and different little campground places. Some of them may have some of that depending on how it looks because, you know, everybody doesn't take care of stuff. And I'm real funny about cleanness. So, yeah, it has like. The car jumper, just stuff that's important that I need for the car to make sure, you know, if I'm out here. Uh, I have like a survival kit in here. Um, this box for here is my meditation box. I have to meditate wherever I'm at. So I keep like my essential oils in here. And like I have the little chakra sheet that I hang up. Hopefully once I get my next vehicle, I'll be able to hang it up or wherever I'm going to be staying. For the next thing, my next move, my writing journal, um, crystals in this little box here. <laughs> so it's just little things and bracelets I, I I have in my meditation box that's separate from everything else. And then, like I said, everything else is in here. And then here is my bag of clothing, towels, rags, and clothing is in this bag, this little zip bag that I got from Amazon. Um, let's see, I have a tent in here and a cot. Uh, usually I'll take everything out of the bed and put it in the front seats. It's that way I have more room to sleep in the bed so I can lay across. But then sometimes I don't always feel like it. I'll just leave the stuff like organized in the back and I'll just sleep across the, you know, the bed and I'll, and then down here, you'll see, like, I have a bag where it's all my medication. So, I basically have, like, everything to keep me from being sick, cleanse and detox. You know, you got to make sure that when you're out here, you at least try to stay healthy and everything is natural or herbs or whatever. Because I don't really do medicines and stuff. So, um, multivitamins and, um... Yeah, everything is in here, and I make sure I always have like a bottle of water, you know, just so I can brush my teeth and stuff. And if I can't find like a clean sink to wash up and brush my teeth at, uh, I do it in my car, basically, pretty much. And um, uh, let me see, yeah, I have underneath and then in the bag. I have like stuff that if I'm running into somebody's house and I need to take like items with me, I'll use another bag. So all that's sorted in one bag. My medicines all in one bag. Um, I make sure I drink electrolyte water every day, and I also drink uh, coconut water, pineapple, for just to make sure I'm having all my electrolytes and alkaline waters. Um, underneath you find like other like personal hygiene things underneath that it's like a little drawer I stash underneath the couch it has everything in it like yeah, anything I need for hair to 
body whatever it is and then on the other side over here in the middle it'll be like my my lab bag and then underneath all of that side on the other side of the chair it'll be like i'll have um my ch shoes underneath which i don't really have a lot of pair of shoes i probably do like a hiking boot a sneaker slides or something like that where i'm not having a lot of I you know sneakers and shoes in here and then um then i have like a bag where i keep like stuff that i can cook that's simple like i just put a hot water with and microwaves or something like that i try to not buy too much food stuff just for that day or stuff that could just linger around the car that i might need to snack on and eat on but i try to like eat as healthy as possible while i'm out here um you know eating healthy could be expensive but so uh yeah but in the morning i try to at least have a fruit salad or a smoothie or something light and then every now and then i might even just chew on eat on some cilantro or basils or some leafy light type of uh, stuff because again i try to eat the first thing healthy in the morning i try not to put nothing real crazy in my body first thing in the morning and over here also like i'll have a as a bag store and i have like jackets and coats just simple stuff not a lot depending on the weather because lately it's been off crazy weather so i might need a jacket or something and then i have like a hoodies in the bag back there and then up front it'll be like a bag where i put trash in and then before it gets too full i'll just pretty much put it in the trash so it's like i'll have my kitchen and and one bag medicine in another bag socks underwears and like um bras in one bag uh lead bag jacket bag and then when i'm finished with my blankets if i know there's nobody getting in here sometimes i may not even pick it up i'll just leave it there so that way you know it'll be all ready for me later because it's not like it's a lot of people getting in my car or vehicle so but then i fold it up and i have a blue bag for that that i store and just sit off the side with the pillow so yeah i pretty much have a lot of things in here i need you know so living out the vehicle has not been bad i actually like it it's a it's my go-to place for peace i meditate in here i listen to my meditation i write i sit back and i usually come to this little spot right here um see if i can show you guys that i just pretty much sit here it's like a park and ride spot a lot of, it's not a lot of people in here but they do come here and you see the same people majority of the time just sitting and resting or whatever it is they do so yeah it's a nice scenery for me when i wake up in the morning so i get to see trees and grass and you know it's really quiet here if you can see and the sun is bright where how i lay the sun is always shining right in my face so yeah this is my living situation for right now so you can see comfortable i don't mind it i like it you know and i i use this vehicle to travel camp out wherever it is it, do, it, it needs to do for me i haven't had any problems with it you know but i wanted to show this video because eventually i'm going to be getting rid of this um i do want to try to get like a bus a mini bus or a transit bus or um a sprinter or something that's a little more bigger taller where i could walk in and um wider where i have more room because i do want to set up my area a little bit different so i'm comfortable and i will show you that video and i plan on trying if i don't just buy one that's already done i plan on trying to get one and convert it into a living space of how i want it to look and be so I will show you that video when I get ready to work on that video. But in the meantime, yes, this is me camping, hiking, uh, traveling, and doing all sorts. Because that's what I like doing. That's what helps me with my therapy. It helps me keep me grounded. It, it gives me peace. And what's more better than being a part of nature with God intended for it to be anyways? How life's supposed to be, you know? people got so used to how what we see out here every day and think that's just really how it's supposed to be and it's not it's, it's, but that's a whole nother story for another time so i'll 
get into stuff like that once I start really working on my podcasts and stuff like that and seeing what other people think and how they feel and how they live and do they think about doing such things as that so um yeah see you guys next time in my next video I keep saying I'm gonna shoot more but I get so preoccupied and busy and doing certain things but I do and I am going to try to get better because a lot of people be asking me you know about it they just want to know more about it how is it is it scary i want to do it i want to try it. I always thought about it and yeah i don't i feel protected by the universe god my ancestors i feel protected and watched over so i don't worry i sleep my best when i'm outside actually so but people don't understand and that's okay but those that do understand they get it you know, and those kind of the people I communicate and talk to. I don't just talk to anybody about stuff because people look at you like you're crazy or something is wrong with you. Or some people look at you like, damn, I wish I could do that, you know, but be like, mm, not right now, maybe, or whatever. But whatever. I enjoy it. I like it. If you want to know about it, you want to ask questions about it, you know, want to know why I got here, follow my Instagram or TikTok. I haven't been on there really, but I'm, I'm going to get back in there. Um, that on Facebook, I'm going to try to get on there more. But I'm using on my Instagram page at my underscore log journey. Something like that. It's in my description. So, if you need to find it. Uh, and also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on there if you want to see more. Uh, whatever. Of where I begin, how I started, how I got me here, and where I'm going. So, see you guys. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Bye.